What's up, world? This is boy you want the only money moves with your boy Mem 2.0. On this channel every day, we strive for financial excellence. So you guys can live a better and prosperous financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of different topics from vlogs to current events, your cities and my city, credit, how to use debt as leverage, how to acquire different types of loans without using traditional banks, how to acquire real estate the non-traditional way, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon to be financial status. So, um, the topic of today's video, we're going to be talking about the reasons why American, most American black men are pretty much destined for prison. So before we get into this video, I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with your boy since day one. You know, you got to stay positive in the YouTube metaverse world because there's a lot of people who come on the comments and they, you know, they be throwing salt, you know, talking crazy, uh, trying to get you out of your uh, out of your zone, out of your mood. You can't let people distract you from your purpose, your real purpose, you know. So for everybody who's new. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video. So, prisons, prisons were, were made to hold some of the most dangerous people in America. You know, it was a form of isolating them and putting them with other individuals who had similar crimes and keeping them out of modern society. Um, and it's, it's and, and for people with shorter prison systems, sentences, it, it, was, it was supposed to be a way to re rehabilitate them. You know what I'm saying? To teach them a lesson for doing what they did. So my reasons on why black men, most black men in America are destined um, for prison will end up in prison. A lot of you guys who look at this video, you're probably going to want a one or two of you might end up in prison uh, sometime soon, you know. And, I, and, and, and I'm not talking about my paper chasing guys, you know what I'm saying, the guys who stay out the way, who work in the nine to five, guys who take care of his family. I'm talking about you guys who, uh, you know, you guys glorify, you guys glorify a dysfunctional uh this dysfunctional reality of your society. So, as you guys know, I've been traveling around this country for a little over 10 years. And no matter where I go, it's the same thing. Same hood, hood thoughts. Uh, it's, it's getting worse, you know. And what I noticed is the reason why a lot of black men are destined for prison is because, because the way they think about things. Like you got a lot of hot, a hot headed black man out here because they're mad at their current situation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys are mad at their current situation. They don't want to work. Nothing's going right for them. And they wonder why nothing's going right for them because they don't want to work and they don't want to set goals for themselves and learn how to manage money and get money the honest way. So they walk around with uh, a chip on their shoulders. And these are the guys who usually catches aggravated assault charges, robbery charges, uh, murder, attempted murder charges. And, you know, most of these guys are going to end up in the penitentiary. You know, um, and it's sad to say that a lot of black men are, are heading that way. But most most of them, they deserve it. Like most, a lot of black men that I see, like when I'm in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the good guys who go to college. I know a lot of guys, a lot of black men do good in society. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of black men in college, a lot of black men working jobs, take care of their family. I'm talking about the other side of it. You know what I'm saying? The other guys, the guys who don't literally have nothing going on for themselves. They stay with their mom. Um, they don't really have their own place. Uh, they don't have no type of self-direction for themselves. And um, and they're struggling financially. 
And usually when you're struggling financially, this is what empowers their thinking. You know, so if they do get a little money and they're struggling financially, um, they, they, their thinking gets empowered because their thinking of the wrong thing to do gets empowered because now, like, you see these guys with all these guns and stuff, you know? Like, you got you got all these guns. You got guns with, with switches on them, you know? Like, most black men have weapons. Most black men have weapons. So, what I want to say is, is that, what I want to say is, is that, like, most black guys in America, like, you guys won't want it the easy way. You guys are, like, the hood mentality that Hollywood put on black people to keep them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like the image that Hollywood portrayed black man is, black men in America played the role and took on those roles of those characters of being drug dealers and being gangbangers and um, shoot shootouts and stuff and drug and selling drugs and stuff. So, you know, uh, they push this image for the weakest of the weakest of black man. You know what I'm saying? So, so you will, you're glorifying a dysfunctional reality when the best people who have the finest women who have the best and sexiest women are men who live honestly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are going to end up, a lot of you guys are going to end up in the penitentiary um, making TikToks on a prison phone. Like trying to communicate, the only the, the only connection you got with the outside world, and maybe if you got enough commissary, if you got a TV or something like that, but in reality, uh, like, like the culture a black man in America, like these hood guys, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can tell pretty much tell something about uh, American black man when you listen to the music he listens to, you know, like if you listen to some crazy stuff and you, and you ain't got nothing going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man, I don't want to hang out with this dude. Like, I don't want to hang. You got to cut people off. You got to cut people off. A lot of you guys don't have no direction and you're hanging, hanging with the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? You're hanging with the wrong people. And what happens is, is that, you know, you're going to get caught up because um, if you was thinking for yourself, you'd be like, this don't make sense. You know how, like, when you got common sense, you can ev evaluate situations. A lot of black men don't do that. They be like, like I be like, this dude just robbed the store in broad daylight. And then what? What a normal person would think is, they would think if I go rob this bank, or if I go rob, if if if, if I go rob this car dealership, if I go do this crime, like even if I go shoot somebody and kill them, a normal person would think, and be like, they think logically, I can't do that, because nine times out of ten you're gonna get caught, and then they don't even think about the amount of time that they're gonna be facing. So basically, like a lot of a lot of American black men, you guys are tricking yourself off the streets, you know, and you're ending up in a place of isolation. A lot of you guys are not going to be able to come back into society. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to come back into society with regular people. You're not going to be able to meet these stupid women with BBLs. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these guys. In prison, they don't care if, if a woman has a BBL or not. They just want to get their rocks off. You guys ain't going to be able to do that. You guys are going to end up in jail with other men. Probably um, turned out to homosexuality because you're in and out, in and out. You're spending so much time in prison. You don't even know how to have a decent relationship with a woman. But uh, guys, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think on the video. Um, this is all I got for the topic today. This is your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mel 2.0. Reporting live from an undisclosed location in the city of New York. Over and out.